Derek, was there any added satisfaction in uh, closing these guys out, five games, a team that you have had a rivalry with last year's, obviously, disappointment? Is there a little something extra, a little extra juice to closing this particular team out in this manner? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, like, we just had such, like, great battles against them. And um, I think in the past that, like, we've had opportunities to, to close them out, especially on the home court, and um, have failed. And so uh, being able to, to close them out here tonight and, and do it the way we did it is definitely big. And what goes into being able to just come out right away and open up that big lead early and just maintain it throughout this whole game? Yeah, um, I mean, we talked about we wanted to throw the first punch, and I think we did that pretty much for the whole series. And, and so uh, just just being aggressive early um, and then just having that pace and everything that we talked about the whole season, and we were able to do a good job with that. Derek, you bro broke out a few new uh, celebrations the past few games, the, the pocket three, you know, getting hyped uh, by the bench at the same time last game. After those dunks you had, it looked like you were getting a little frustrated with the refs. You are getting amped up. Like, what's the balance in, especially in the playoffs, of having fun but also playing with that intensity, and how important is that balance? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I mean, for me personally, I mean, I think that's when I'm at my best is when I'm having fun out there and um, just having fun with my teammates, um, whatever it might be, um, whether I'm supporting them or they're supporting me. Like, it, it means everything to me. So, um, I don't know, just out there having fun, messing around. Um, but also realizing that like this is a big moment and um, and we're we're all locked in too. Derek, uh, how much <coughs> with this win did it kind of set the tone for what you guys are trying to accomplish here? Uh, but the way you did it and with this group of guys, how pleased were you with what you saw from start to finish in this series? Yeah, um, I mean, it's big. I mean, we got past the first round and that's the first step, and so. Um, we understand what the bigger picture is and what's ahead of us, and so it doesn't get any easier. Uh, we don't start the next series up one nothing because we did what we did today, and so um, we, we're just gonna have to move on and, and reset. Derek, a big theme this year has been growth as as a group, and how did you guys go about growing in terms of your response from you know game two and what you're able to do three, four, and five, and the type of effort you pushed forward in those games? Yeah, I think uh, we've been doing this just all year. Um, I mean, we've had games where, I don't know, it, you might seem like it was a, a big loss to them, but we just uh, bounce back, regroup, and um, everybody's just been on the same page this whole season. So um, it's the playoffs. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. Um, that's what makes it amazing. That's what makes it fun. And so uh, you just got to be ready to not get too high on those wins and, and not get too low on the losses and just keep, keep improving and doing what we need to do. Derek, what stood out about the first, you know, full effort without Chris Stapps, how you guys overcame that, and what did it call for from you to, you know, kind of step up in his absence in the offensive sense? Uh, for me personally, I don't think it changes much. Um, I mean, obviously, KP out there, and it's a little bit different, but uh, I wouldn't say it changes anything for me. Um, obviously, we miss him, but Al steps up and, and does a little bit of everything for us, so um, it's different but it's still effective. You guys held the heat to under 90 points in each of the final three games. How much of that is a testament to how connected you guys were defensively and the effort it takes to protect the three-point line without getting beat on cuts or on the glass? Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the team we want to be. Um, we got guys that up and down this roster that can, can guard and guard multiple positions and at a high level. So um, that's, that was a big, it's a big emph emphasis for us this the rest of this playoffs, and um, we're gonna have to we have to get it done on that end. The whole seat, the whole playoffs. You don't have to go back to Miami. There won't be a game seven. Can you speak to having a little bit of breathing room to recalibrate and rest and whatever plan for the next round? Yeah, um, I mean we're gonna uh, enjoy this, the tonight and then um, just prepare for. Uh, the match that we got next. Uh, I mean, obviously we don't know yet. Um, it's kind of like we had with the the Heat, so we kind of just sit in and wait in, and then when it's time to when we find out who we're actually playing, we're gonna we're gonna dive in and lock in on that team and that opponent. So um, we're just waiting to see who we got next, and then we'll be ready to go once once we figure that out. Derek, you guys have seen Cleveland. You guys have seen Orlando. Can we get a mini scouting report 
on either team? Um, they're both good, so it's going to be a challenge. <laughs> Could you just describe kind of your mindset in these types of games where you had obviously a big performance tonight and obviously in game four as well, where not just in terms of scoring, but impacting winning. Like how do you approach these games and how do they kind of draw the best out of you? And this is the, the best time of the year, um, competing at a high level and against a, and on this stage, the playoff stage. So um, these games, I'm just trying to go out there and, and compete at the highest level and um, just be aggressive, play the game that – I need to play and, and make the right read. So um, just trying to make the right read each time down the court and um, help the team win any way I can.